Hello everyone. Um, a quick tutorial. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it or not. But I just wanted to show for my new product that I'm putting on my web, uh, on my eBay store is this blank, you know, chipboard envelope album that's ready made in a way, but um, it's not. <laughs> Basically, I'm just I just built the basic, the uh, base of the album, and then all you have to do is just add in the pictures or add in the uh, designer paper, and then you can make it and design it any way you want for any occasions. So this is how it looks. I've used the Invisible Hinge Binding Technique by Kathy Orta. As you can see here, you can't see the hinge. It's inside the envelope. And I'm going to show you how I adhere the envelope or the page to the spine. So just so you can see how it's made. Okay, here we go. First you'll need score tape. I'm using here the quarter inch score tape. And then... Let me see here. Let me get the right one. Okay. So here is the six by six one. Okay. And then let me just get my score pad out. I like to use my score pad to measure things. So this is a six by six page. And as you can see here, you just have the binding right here. Okay. So basically what I do is, so I guess it's not a tutorial, it's just showing you how I adhere the pages to the spine. If you want to see the whole tutorial, Kathy Orta from Paper Phenomenon does have a tutorial out on YouTube on how to make this from beginning to end. Okay, and like I said, when I purchased the tutorial, or the, yeah, the tutorial for this, I purchased only the right to use the techniques shown by her to make albums and sell it on eBay. And you can purchase a tutorial at her blog, again under Paper Phenomenon. If you punch it in, it comes up really quick. She's one of those really popular scrappers, you know, the queen of scrapping. And then basically what I do is I just cut off the edge, miter it, so it's easier to slip the page in and just snip it off now they all suggest that you do one take off one side of the tape first and then the other side for me that's really hard I just take off both sides and then I just slip in the envelope it's easier for me that way Ay, how come you don't want to come off oh there we go and I love her binding because her binding is because it's very sturdy Ay. Did I do the wrong one? Ashley, not now. It's my daughter, sorry. Okay, I grabbed the wrong one. This is not the six by six, this must be the eight by eight one. Oops, ah, it's okay. I'll make the eight by eight envelopes and stick them in later. Uh -huh. See, I'm in a rush because we have to go to church this morning to um, make Thanksgiving goodie baskets for the people at the park. You know, for the ones less fortunate than ourselves, we, um, so basically we'll be giving them out baskets full of trimming, such as, you know, uh, all the ingredients, groceries that they can use to make a Thanksgiving meal for themselves. And we're also gonna be giving out turkeys. We had people donate and we reached our mark. So that, I'm going to be putting together the basket so that we can give them out. So again, see, score tape on both sides and then I keep pressing it. All the edges been mitered. Okay. So anyways, we are, we're giving out um, Thanksgiving baskets of goodies for these people at the church. And from what I understand, our pastor has been doing this for many years and he's seen many people come by. You know, I guess regulars. I mean, he knows everybody at the park. Okay, then you take a bone folder. And I kind of just go over it. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see. So, just to make sure you get a good stick there. And on the other side, there we go. And then it's in there. And very sturdy. It 
it can handle quite a bit of weight on this, so which is great because I tend to put a lot of embellishments on my pages and my albums do get heavy. Some of them gets up to three pounds. I think one of the albums I shipped out, I was so surprised because I didn't weigh it. And I do need to watch the weight because the shipping is free. But it came out to almost four pounds. OMG. And then you just do the same thing for every hinge. And there are six hinges, so six pages. Okay. Six pages of six blank pages of doing whatever you want to do. Okay. And then slide this one in. So like I said in a previous album. Okay, so this is how it starts looking. So I'll do the rest later. And then of course the chipboard will be covered. Okay, and so this is what the finished one will look like. And I just wanted to let you know, you are gonna see a line here. Because basically I have to take two 12 by 12 sheets and then adhere the ends. So it's something like this. Let me see here. Oh, here we go. That one here. So can you see that line there where I adhere to? And then basically I lay out the spine and the cover like this and then wrap the edges, okay? and you won't see the chipboard here i've done mistakes like that in the past week you can see the chipboard where i just made a fold but see look how the corners are folded so nicely sorry for my ugly nails it's time for me to redo my nail polish just got it done last week too but i guess i do a lot with my hands so basically that's where all the connections are. You can see where the hinges connect. Now basically this here will disappear once you put a, um, what you want to call it? A design paper over it, like this here, see? Okay, and then you'll uh, also print up a paper with all the measurements. Um, I will be adding tags in here. And again, as stated in the previous, video I will add in these tabs basically these tabs are pull out tabs you fold them in half glue them onto your page okay so it'll look like that and then you can do it two ways you can either glue them on first okay and then put the decorative paper on top so the tab looks like this or you can put glue on the paper first and then you can put the tab on top of that okay so either way whichever look you like the best and basically I'll send I'll print up a paper with all the dimensions in here and what size um, you should cut down your designer paper down to to fit the pages basically the covers here are seven by seven okay inch the spine on the average is two and a half inches and then what you can do from there is I always make the um, dimensions of the pattern paper quarter inch smaller. So if it's seven by seven and I have my front cover paper, I make it, I cut it down to six and three quarters by six and three quarters. So I will try to use always nice numbers because once the numbers gets funky, then all sorts of things happen. And then the pages are six by six, so you can take a six by six, you know, paper pad, cut it down to five by three quarters, by five by three quarters, and then it'll fit. So basically, the basic, absolute basic tool you'll need is something like a score tape, or those rolling tapes that people use on eBay, uh, on uh, YouTube. I can't use those tape runners because they never work for me. I just use a score tape and then align the edges of the paper here or you can use the scotch quick adhesive I know a lot of people use this I don't like to use it because the glue oozes out and it just makes a mess for me I'm not good at this I know if I practice more it probably I'll probably get good at it but I have it but anyways so I do use the scotch quick dry adhesive on these tabs so I just kind of glue them on and then I kind of eyeball the center, okay, and then I hear them that way, and they do dry really quick, so I do love this glue. I really recommend this one here. They dry really fast, unlike 
like some glues where you just gotta hold it down until it dries. Okay, you're gonna need a, you may wanna get a bone folder because they're great. You need like some sort of paper cutter, um, like the Fiskars, I know they're very popular. I use a gigantic one. And let me show you what I mean, one moment. You're gonna get to see my messy scrapbook table. How fun. So, here's my projects I'm trying to finish up. So this is what I use for my paper cutter. Can you see that? Isn't that huge? And look at that mess I have there. And this is called a Rota trim. And the dimensions on this are 12 by 15. Okay, so I got this so that I could cut chipboards. And it cuts paper really nice too. Okay, that was a great investment and it was an investment for me. Okay, I'm sorry if it's shaky. I'm just trying to set up the tripod here. Okay, so I'll be posting that up. Starting bit on that will be, let me see here, uh, $5.99. So I do all the work for you and then all you have to do is just decorate it, which is a lot of fun. Later on this afternoon, after the church, so we got to go to the church, make the baskets. Birthday party to go to. When I come back home, I will show you how I do the spine, how you can decorate the spine. And that's a lot of fun, how to adhere spine. And then, um, yeah, and that's it. So basically when I talk about the tags, and I don't have an example tag out here, darn it. Anyway, so you'll get a, like about five and a half by five and a half inch cards, black cardstock in here. It's a tag. And basically, oh, the other one I wanted to tell you is um, all the papers I use in here is from Michael's Recollection Paper Pad. Um, the reason why I decided to use that paper for this project or this product is that there's Michael's almost everywhere. So even black paper has different colors. So if you use black from one you know brand and then you use another one there is a difference so if you want the exact color just go down to michael's and you can get the recollections paper pad and i'm sure i have one here that's not open and i do so basically this is it okay and then michael's also always have sales you know and then they always have coupons 40 percent off coupons that you can use to buy the paper pads okay and gotta use those coupons because scrapbooking gets really expensive so we got this here so if you want to add in flaps or more interactive pages bifold card trifold cards um fold outs anything like that you just go down to michael's and you can get a black paper pad and and you know you will always have a, a matching color okay to the black that you use okay and what else was i going to say yeah so i'll do the spine tutorial and i'll have this up after the birthday party okay thank you for stopping by have a great day have a blessed day bye bye see you again soon